Well, thank you all so much for helping my project. Uh, could you say a couple of words about yourself? My name is Laiva. I'm from Pakistan and I'm a sophomore at Rice studying economics. And my name is Kush. I'm a junior uh, originally from India and I'm studying computer science and cognitive science. That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, did y'all know that NASA is plan uh, planning some people back to the moon? I don't know. I also did not know that. <laughs> oh, uh, what do you think about it now that you've heard it? Any initial reactions? I think it's cool that they're going back. I think because science has advanced so much since the first time they went, they're probably gonna find out new things that, uh, like, yeah, could take science further. Yeah, I think I was reading an article the other day about the last time like humans stepped foot on the moon was like in the seventies or something, which is like very t interesting to think about the, the fact that. You know, technology has advanced so much, and yet we haven't had people go up there like physically, which is like something cool to you know witness. I think I'm very excited for it, and yeah, it's, it's definitely as she said, there could be a lot of potential uh, now than before to like find stuff out. Yeah, yeah. the camera technology is definitely yeah. improved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll feel like uh, like we have the VR headsets. We'll feel like we're walking with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. No, I think it'll be cool the discoveries this time around. Yeah. Um, when you think about where it might lead us, like 200 years in the future, do you think we're only on the Earth at that point, just making these short trips? Or do you think in like 200 years, we've like advanced so that we actually have people living their lives on Earth and on the Moon and on Mars and other places? I don't see us living there I in think. 200 years, but I think more frequent trips, maybe for longer durations, but I don't, I don't see us living there. Okay, I'd like to be, maybe they go for a year and come back. Yeah, and type yeah. Okay. More, more scientific than like, anything like going to antarctica yeah exactly exactly yeah. yeah i agree with that yeah i feel like it's something that you know i, I don't see it happening in 200 years but someday eventually i do see it happening oh uh, someday okay. yeah okay uh, but like uh, you think like a thousand years I ten thousand years yeah i think around like thousand years is something where i see it happening eventually but like again you know not much i don't have much knowledge on this i don't i'm not the best person but yeah a thousand years approximately is something that i guess um, and if y'all could, would y'all take a trip to space? No. No, would. you would? Yeah, 100%. Uh, I'm good here. Good? <laughs> <laughs> um, how far would you go? I definitely think like Mars is okay. definitely something because I feel like I, I personally am very fascinated with like all that stuff. I, you know, again, read about stuff on like Instagram, YouTube and stuff. I watch videos. I think I'm very fascinated. Again, you know, given the fact that, you know, obviously technology is advancing so much and like people have you know, done like research and study on Mars and stuff, I think I would definitely be willing to, if it's safe, if it's, you know, feasible, definitely, you know, try, I mean, yeah, hypothetically, yes, I would. Maybe if a few thousand people went into yeah, the yeah, yeah, that yeah. De definitely. Well, thank you all so much for your time. I thank really course. appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye.